um we've this week we've got to make sure that you subscribe that you like the video we're, we're running these numbers comment. we want subscriptions we want likes we exactly. want exactly we need uh, to get a life <laughs> we need to get people subscribed you need to get people interacting to get that sweet sweet adsense money and then we can start going and now sponsored by this vpn and sponsored by this security company and then sponsored by these gambling maybe people. raycons could sponsor us and then they'll give me some free earbuds <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to drop a name we're done that's it we're See? done that's it we've GG. already been canceled uh, ray bands wait no that's another <laughs> yes ray bands that works it's fucking the ray band ear dollar <laughs> We're advertising two thousand um, dollar sunglasses to our to our folks out here. Yeah, so. honestly, <laughs> you better go buy. One. Yeah, so you know they weren't they weren't they weren't actually worth that much originally. Uh, Lasotica purchased the. Uh, isn't that just everything though? No, or it's like Nike started out of the back of a guy's van. It's like come on. No, but even until recently, like up until like the nineties, they were like a twenty dollar eyeglass company, and then uh, Luxottica took them over, and uh, they they and they basically. Uh, Increased all the prices to like infinity where they are now, That's and funny. they did the same thing to Oakley. Oakley used to be like the whatever glasses that are like oh, quote unquote cool glasses, mm. and then they couldn't uh, uh look because Luxottica controls the market of eyeglass distribution. So like mm. uh, Target, eyewear, uh, the whole nine yards, mm. they basically didn't let them sell their glasses anywhere un- until they weren't able to keep up with uh, their expenses, and so they basically went bankrupt. And Luxottica then bought Oakley. Put them back on the shelves. Hmm. Uh, basically, they strong armed them until they sold, and uh, they forcefully acquired Oakley, and then they put them expensive again. Look at that! Same thing. Well, not same thing, but um, it's a similar thing to Champion because Champion, the brand, used to be like, oh yeah, that's like your ten dollar Walmart brand, mm-hmm. and now I'm seeing like, oh Champion, so it's fifty, sixty bucks. Like it's basically on the level of like Nike and Adidas, and mm-hmm. I'm like. There's no point. What? Why yeah. would I? Why would I get like, J.C. Penny brand like straight shit up for Nike brand? Literally Nike prices. Like if you're not already shopping at J.C. Penny, Kohl's, Ross, for the most part, like mm-hmm. you're an idiot basically. Because why would you go and buy a sixty dollar Nike shoe? We can just buy the overstock from last year at Ross. Exactly. For like twenty nine, like fifty percent off basically. Or like from Macy's or the oh what, no, not Macy's. What's the other one? Uh, Marshall's Didi's discount. Oh, Marshall's. Marshall's, yeah. Marshall's, Marshall's Didi's discount. Ross. The, the trifecta of, mm-hmm. and actually, I think Didi's Discount owns, uh, sorry, Ross owns Didi's Discount. That would make sense, if I'm being honest. And I, I'm like, Marshall's, ah, Marshall's absorbed another one, but I don't remember what the other one was. Um, let, Let's not Google it. Let's just yeah, leave let's it. Let's leave it up to speculation. That's that's what we do here. This is real. You, this is this is real Speculative news. journalism. <laughs> at real its speculative finest. journalism. <laughs> exactly. So we're doing. A speculatively the, real journalism. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're doing the Q1 review, Q1 oh, yeah. Book Till Friday podcast review on the bingo ca- bingo card that we came up with. Um, I don't think we have anything solid just yet. Maybe we do. Ooh, okay. Maybe we uh, do. All do right. We? Let's so, see. Go. Biden, First cube. <laughs> Biden dies. Biden dies. No. Uh, yeah, that, that, that happened. They cloned him, you know. <laughs> Aliens came to take over. Yeah. yeah. Trump dies. Ah. Uh, He's going to prison, maybe. So Bob Barker dies. Is Bob Barker Bob still Barker. alive? Bob Barker's no. Bob Barker's got to be dead. No, he's still alive. Ah, uh, is <laughs> all I see is is on Wikipedia, and he's still alive. Leo dates over twenty five. Funnily enough, he just went to a nineteen year old, hmm. and just to show you the age gap, that nineteen year old, her high school was interrupted by COVID. No way. So yes, that is I don't that know. is insane. Take that, take that as you will. But Leonardo DiCaprio's no. girl, current 19-year-old girlfriend was in high school during COVID and her high school was disrupted by COVID. There, that is that is too much. You, you should like when you're I I feel like I feel like if someone my age was dating uh someone whose high school got interrupted by COVID, like a 19-year-old, their high school got interrupted by COVID, that'd be a little weird. That'd be a little sus. Eh, It'd yeah. be just a little bit sus. Like and I Leo's I feel, like almost 50 at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the next time I would go play magic cards, like my friends would be looking at me like side eye. He was alive for twenty five years. Side eyes. This man got action on screen a decade before she was born. Yeah. Like take, take that as you will. Side uh, eye. 
Kanye Side opens eye. bank. Did Kanye end up opening his own bank? I don't think so. Right? Uh, I don't he know. He just kind of disappeared. What? Happened? Yeah, he just kind of vanished. Well, he got kicked off like the major everything. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So Kanye West inspired oh, dozens of anti-Semitic yes. incidents. That makes yes, sense. That makes sense. Uh, right wing calls Kanye West a studio genius. Okay, not surprised by that. Oh, his net worth dips below four hundred million seventeen mm-hmm. hours ago. Um, yeah, I, I don't see a huge opportunity for Nike. That's funny. Okay. He's a star. Latest news on child and blah, blah, blah. I don't Next care one kids. was that 90s show Bombs. No way. What? Oh, no. I, th- I thought you were saying that like as a fact. Like it no, bombed. No, no, no. That was our bingo. Yeah, so yeah. it has a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, 76% Rotten Tomatoes. 86% of users like this TV show. So That's I one mean, of me. I liked it. That, I liked okay, it. Okay, I haven't. Seen I really it. liked I it. I haven't seen it yet. So obviously, it's not as good, and it's a little bit not as sanitized, but it's a little bit more like they they're kind of like uh, I don't know. It, it's weird. It's weird compared to the other show. It feels a little bit more sanitized, but I feel like it's just growing into its own thing right now. Well, so it remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. So, I hope the second season's good. Rocket Raccoon dies. The movie hasn't come out yet. Uh, yeah. Most of the stuff is like. In the future, Elon ousted from Tesla. Not no, yet. hasn't. As far as the I McRib know. comes back, like, is the McRib is the back? Mac- McRib. The McRib. So the McRib, the McRib is the McRib back. Twenty twenty three. Americans will not get to eat these dishes in twenty twenty three. McRib, Choco Taco, and other discontinued foods. Damn. So it's not coming back at all. Damn. No. Why that, are the McRibs going our away? Bingle. So our bingle. What the fuck is a bingle? It was pulled from the menu four years later due to poor sales in 2022. Okay, well. The Seahawks win the Super Bowl. Who won the Super Bowl? I don't even who. Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know the Super Bowl was over, if I'm being honest. The Kansas City Chiefs. I vaguely remember that. So Raiders win the Super Bowl. Seahawks win the Super Bowl. Nope, neither nope. of those are going to happen. A Marvel celebrity dies. Technically... Lance Reddick. Lance Reddick Lance passed Reddick, away. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was in anything Marvel. Was he in Marvel? But I know he was huge in the video game community. Yeah, he was, and he he was, was in like Destiny. 50. He was the voice for Destiny. Yeah. He loved that game. Dude, I played that game. That was, that was so weird. It was so surreal. And I just found out he voiced it too. Yeah, he, like he was the only day 60. before he died. He was 60. And he was like in such good health shape and everything. And everything. Yeah. yeah. That's You crazy. don't get to be that wealthy without also being healthy. Or, well, the wealth provides you the health yeah so he was in the wire fringe john wick and um yeah he was supposed to be zeus in the new percy jackson tv show too he was in horizon zero dawn horizon mm-hmm. forbidden west commanders of allah and the destiny franchise it just has natural causes so it could be i mean heart failure literally anything, complications due to covid i mean blah, blah. who knows but yeah. 60 so i mean I, I feel like they just haven't so that legit happened a week ago today. Yeah. It was a Instant. week. Today is the 24th. He died on the 17th. That was a week. He died ago. the day after I found out he voices uh, Commander Zavala in, uh, in <laughs> Destiny. Destiny. Is the, Right after I, I, I find out about his involvement, he dies. I'm like, well, that was cool information to know. Yeah, well. <laughs> like, fuck. All right. Well, not a Marvel celebrity, but I guess still, still a big celebrity. Close right? enough. And unexpected, too, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, again, 60 kind of out of nowhere. AI becomes sentient and kills itself due to cringe. Yeah. Mm, and I yet. mean, he just finished wrapping up uh, filming for uh, for Percy Jackson. He's Zeus and Percy Jackson. So now they're going to recast so. Zeus. Well, to be fair, Zeus could shapeshift, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it'd so be anyone he wants. They'll just they could put him with a bull and then they'll, it'll be the same thing. Exactly. He could come back as a chicken and then some yeah. lady will be like, I need to bang that chicken. And then that's how you get... Um, a new story Hercules I don't know. or whatever I yeah <laughs> Greek mythos I don't know something something lockdown comes back not yet not yet PS5 Pro announced nope nope next iPhone no charging port not yet not yet a natural disaster in America uh, uh, there was a tornado, tornado in California in Los Angeles of all places in downtown Los Angeles downtown LA how at Monte motherfucker how how we get a tornado there here? were brief tornadoes see this is what happens when you deregulate and you got climate change being ignored by 90% of the country because California can do all it wants but when like the rest of the country is going yeah. oh well I'm gonna have this my ain't your trucks this in California uh, you, you take away my oil you take away my manhood you know I gotta make up because I got a small penis you know like that that kind of, yeah, that kind kind of thing yeah little dick energy to be honest yeah. Clim- honestly climate change denial is little dick energy little dick it's uh, it's a byproduct of having a very tiny dick because of the microplastics. Mm-hmm. Literally. 
<laughs> There's plastic in my blood. There's plastic. There's plastic in your DNA. There, straight up, I would straight not up. be surprised if they were like, hey, so we did a quick test and we saw your uh, 1% plastic. And I'm like, it's fantastic. And then just break into song and dance for Barbie. Uh, Bernie dies. Okay. Bernie dies. Is Bernie dead? Hold on. I need to pause it because I forgot the light. We forgot the light. And we're back. And we're back with slightly better lighting, a little more shadows. That's fine. <laughs> he got someone has a baby. No. No. And my favorite, my absolute favorite one. Okay. So, no. no, no. I'll get to that. My favorite one, I'll leave that for last, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bernie dies. No, obviously didn't happen. Um, aliens make contact. Nope. So Yeah, they did. What do you mean? They replaced Biden when he died. You're correct. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the, we got two for two here. The deep state does not want you to know these things. So. And my favorite, my absolute favorite out of the all ten of out of ten. This is a eleven out of ten. Okay, this is a once in a lifetime prediction that we put on the bingo card. You want to give a guess to what it what it's what it is? It's related to restaurants. There's a hint. Restaurants will lick my balls. Well, so it says here. <laughs> I will read this to you verbatim. What we wrote down months ago, right? Because right. we're so smart and we know the future. Yeah. It says, "What a burger." <laughs> Nothing else. Ten out it of ten. Just says what a burger. What a burger. What a burger. <laughs> what a burger. What a burger. Straight. So I guess <laughs> we're gonna interpret that one of many ways. Where yes. We, uh, that's open to interpretation. Open to interpretation. We go uh, to Texas and we taste Whataburger. Boom. We mark it off. I, I guess. I guess. I yeah. guess that's the closest thing. I if if Whataburger <laughs> happens, is Water Google is Whataburger a thing? <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. It literally just says Whataburger. My <laughs> goodness. Are we? You know, it's because of all the uh, the vitamins we take. It's the precognition kicking in. You know. Straight up, Low like key. hydrocephaly. We've got water in the brain, okay? Yeah. And it's <laughs> making a swell. Precognition pushing, field. Pushing against my prefrontal cortex and making it hard to sleep at night. I've got serious medical issues. Your tongue just goes numb. <laughs> <laughs> just collapse. <laughs> and then I'm like, you got to use the video. Don't forget to export. <laughs> Wait, make sure you balance the audio. <laughs> My final oh, words. God. So, all right. So, who will lead the MCU next? Who's leading the MCU next? Um, I remember we were talking initially that Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, was going to be doing that, right? Yes, but, originally. Like I said, rest in peace. So, uh, Black Panther is probably not going to be the one leading anymore. True, probably not. Um, can't Just- be Spider Man because Sony's got their claws in his. Uh, Back, I mean, so. technically, narratively, Spider-Man is set to to be the next main character. No, 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 no. it's not going to happen because Sony's not going to let it happen because they're not going to be like, oh, all of a sudden, uh, Spider-Man's going to be number one. Well, then we need creative input. No, you shut your fucking whore mouth, Sony. You just keep doing back. Spider-Verse. Just keep doing Spider-Verse. Just, that's, just, that's what you've been good at. Just do Spider-Verse. And they're not even doing it. They're just putting their name on it. You, no, how, are they about- outsourcing it? Well, no, no, as in, you get me, like, it's not like, oh, the Sony creatives are doing, it. no, no, yeah, it's yeah. like no, a dedicated I mean. team that like, cares about that Yeah. outside of, like, you outside know. of Sony, like, it's not yeah, Sony's, yeah. like, it's not like the Amazing Spider-Man or something, where, like, exactly. Sony has where creative, like, creative, yeah, where okay. they're like, you know yeah. what, you gotta throw in Venom in Spider-Man 3 and all this bullshit. Yeah, that, that's what I was asking, like, is, is it <laughs> yeah. Sony, like, yeah. is it Sony's thing, or is Sony, it, like, just outsourcing Sony a creative project? Sony doesn't have their claws in it, that, yes. that's basically how, okay. how I'm gonna put it. So Understandable. you, you. Sony, all you have to do is stamp your name and give them a check. And then get that's a million it. dollars. That's that, Get a million dollars, that's honestly. It. More than a million. <laughs> like, that's all you need to do. <laughs> Fuck. Sir, can we really keep doing this over and over again? <laughs> to be fair, it's worked 132 times. Like, <laughs> straight up. Legit. My uh, goodness. I, I don't know how Sony messes it up. Yeah, I don't know. So, Sony always be taking L's. Like, they, they get part of the stuff, right? I, like, that's the thing. Portions of all of Sony's films always work portions you know you got ideas are there execution executions are bad that's why you need ai (laughs) you know what i think i need ai to execute children in iran you're right you're right true true. instead of having humans drone strike just use a cold calculated machine of an ai duh and then that's when we get terminator you know who's never going to desert your army a machine and you know who's never become sentient but at that point we're all fucked so you know who else will never desert your army mcdonald's because the ice cream machine broke you got no dessert Facts, facts, facts and logic. That was a good pun. 
This is, this is what we do. This, this, this is, is my what... enjoying the pun face. <laughs> Don't you see? Look at my no, no, enjoying no. the pun face. The the best one was where you go, oh, dude, that's hilarious. And it's like, well, why didn't you laugh? And it's like, it it's just funny, okay? <laughs> leave, leave, leave it like that. Don't, don't think about it too much. Don't think... <laughs> my my uh, dopamine receptors have been fried too much that I don't laugh anymore. I just comment yes. on saying, that's hilarious. I found that that's entertaining. Good. It yeah. was mildly uplifting. After sex and you're like, I've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Straight up. I've arrived. I've arrived. Damn. Knocks out. Oh, knocks out. I was just death. Oh, death too. Yeah, yeah you know. Everyone knows this that is your like testicles a... are two sperms and you get two shots your whole life. That's yes. it. And then once you shoot both, you die. Die. That's, That's it. it. Like a grasshopper. Yep. The, instant, the instant you arrive, you die. Shoots out like a humongous tadpole. And, mm-hmm. you know, if you <laughs> if you miss. Like a possum seed. Your girl has to kill it with a frying pan. Poppy seed. No, poppy seed's too small. I, I say tadpole because I'm imagining oh, tadpole. No, I, I oh no the duraznos. The duraznos have <laughs> the fucking <laughs> fucking peach nuts. Yeah. Oh, a peach, peach nut. nut. Peach nut. <laughs> peach it's time. Peach nut. It's peach time. Because you know how peach they nuts. say you know how they say if you eat certain fruit like it starts tasting different. I mean, obviously it doesn't, but that's like the, the obviously. <laughs> Edward here has yes. many things to tell us. <laughs> I have many. Edward uh, just informed many on milligrams. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I, I, I think it, um, it's supposed to. I don't, I don't think it actually does. To be yeah, fair, yeah, because I think that's I feel just, that's weird. That's just diabetes. Because remember, one of the symptoms of diabetes is your sweet pit, nut, <laughs> your pee, sweet your nut. pee, and your sweat start smelling sweet. Because diabetes. No um, way. Yeah, it's a real no thing. No way. So when you're like, damn, my piss is smelling like honey, it's like, well, you got a problem. <laughs> you're eating Surprise. too much honey. <laughs> Surprise, diabetes for your birthday. <sighs> you get so diabetes. I couldn't get you a gift, so I just gave you diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Uh, when they inject the, in Harley Quinn, when they inject him with cancer, uh, what did you just do? No, it's the cancer gun. Oh, the cancer gun. The cancer ray. Like, <gasps> just gave him cancer. Oh my God, I'm going to go call my kids. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Yeah. Uh, that's why that's low key one of my favorite jokes in Harley Quinn, TBH. Or another good one in Spider Man in the, in the comics when he's like, with DNA, you could be curing cancer. And he's like, I don't want to cure, cure cancer. cancer. I want to turn I people into dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. Okay. What? To be fair, though, to be fair, though, I'm not on his case, on, on that dude's case that much because there's like 30 billion technologies or magics in in the marvel universe that can cure cancer why haven't they honestly yeah legit it's like, a racket you, you, straight up straight up a racket you, they have the the technology that turned spider-man into spider-man in the first place at least in the modern update he doesn't become that via gener uh how do you call it via radiation it's genetic engineering so he becomes spider-man i thought it was a spider through, biting yeah him. the spider biting him uh changed his dna into part spider mm-hmm. yes it, it was through genetic manipulation with the spider. So if they can do that, where do you think oh, the cancer comes oh, I from? Get you, I yes. get you. Well, to be fair, they did a genetic mutation on the spider. They're not doing it on humans. Well, the so spider I'm transferred assuming... it to the human. That The spider was the vessel by which... So you got to fill up a bunch of spiders with, with anti-cancer. The cure, yeah, with the anti-cancer and, the cure to cancer cancer ray. and then here, be bitten by a black widow. And then little kid. He yeah, turns like, into Spider-Man also and then... Just insane. There's extremists. <laughs> There's extremists. Yeah, what's up with the- when Tony Stark in Iron Man yeah. 3 literally got engineered superpowers that were stable? Yeah. And they were just like, well, just leave that, I guess. Yeah, just Why fucking- don't you get superpowers mm-hmm. and then you have the suit as like the superpowers are your backup, you fucking idiot. Yeah. It gave you superhuman strength. Fucking- you think you think extremists wouldn't help against Thanos, you fucking or idiot? Or cancer? Like what? He would have been like he breaks off the thing, and, and then you remember when when Thanos rips off his uh, helmet, and he's mm-hmm. about to sock him. And imagine when he rips it off, he just goes, and then just fucking blasts him with lava face or whatever. Fucking imagine Wanda with uh, with extremist powers. Well, no, because she went off the deep end. You don't want to. Oh, that's, like, that, uh, but remember. No, but that's We're talking about Thanos okay, right okay, now. Okay. We're talking about Infinity War well, and Endgame. She went off the deep end yet. Okay, well, maybe you don't want to fuck with Captain America, but... Yeah, yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. Falcon. Imagine all the people with unaltered DNA. Or, yeah, the ones with no powers. Bucky. Bucky technically no, he's Bucky a super has super soldier. Yes. I thought it was just his arm. No, he's super soldier serum now. Okay, 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 okay. So he's got super soldier serum. Yeah, yeah. So anyone who doesn't already have super soldier serum, like Bucky. Oh, um, wait, Bucky does. You just said he does. No, who doesn't have it 
like Bucky does, like Steve does, like oh uh, yeah, 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 like like T'Challa, like T'Challa does. yeah, did. <laughs> did. Oops. But yeah, uh, who else? Like straight up, yeah, like fucking uh, Wanda, Black Widow, yeah. Black Widow, yes, pointing Black a pistol Widow. at the at the aliens. Wait, I thought... No, she's just a super assassin. Yeah. She doesn't have any fucking powers. Also, yeah. Hawkeye. His yeah, superpower yes, is never accuracy. missing. No, no, no that's yeah, dumb. It's never missing. He's just a accuracy. human. Give him superpowers. Give him superpowers. Fucking yes. bulk Give, them all no, up. Because imagine, imagine, if, imagine if he had like superhuman strength. Imagine the accuracy he would have. Because he's more. <gasps> he's supposed to be more accurate than Captain America. He would with, have a humongous composite bow, and then like with vibranium arrows. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, some bullshit. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Like. No, he like you know those old school uh bows that they would put on top of castles that are fucking huge as hell. He would he'd be a ballista. One. Yeah, he'd be he'd a human ballista. ballista. Yeah, he'd be like <laughs> just hey, boom, aim, <laughs> and then just impales them with like a fucking arrow the size of a telephone pole made Straight of vibranium, up. and then <laughs> fucking Thor <laughs> redirects the lightning into that thing into the pole as the uh, yeah, just the, fucking shred them. <laughs> yeah, straight up, these people would have won Would've so. It. Easily with then extremists, we, but then we have no movie. I know, I get That's it. True. Whatever. Yes, I know. It's it's the speedster Whatever. problem. It's the speedster problem. Yes. That's why they always have to nerf the speedster. Where they're like, well, it's the reality oh, warping problem. Because how many characters can actually warp reality? Like, like in the general superhero vicinity, you got basically Wanda, all of them. You got Doctor Strange. That's it. Those are the two main ones. Who else warps really? No one else. Everyone else fucking punches their way out of things. I mean, yeah. But there's been instances like, for example. Checkmate uh, liberal. Checkmate liberal. <laughs> uh, no, like there's uh, Captain Universe. He could warp reality. Oh, well, okay, okay. But I'm, I was going to say, I'm keeping it within the MCU. Within the but, MCU. But also yeah. in, in movie format, the speedster problem of, oh, the Flash. You're so fast and you can like redo everything. Why don't you? And then he did. And it was fucking beautiful, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh. So I, I I know I know people go oh but that's just a cop out no he it's his used abilities. his powers yeah. to the maximum and there's repercussions of doing that which we're gonna see in Flashpoint the movie yes see that's that's one thing about uh the CW verse mm-hmm. where Flash is actually the best example of because the Flash because he's a speedster has that issue against supervillains so where you get your narrative weight from is drama it's the it's the interpersonal relations it's the drama and the flash yeah. is the perfect example of like what his stories actually what good his stories actually are his stories aren't good when he's fighting bad guys his stories are good as when he's having uh relationship issues uh kid issues yeah. etc cetera, etc cetera, people issues but then if you don't do it right it gets it, it gets just turns it, into it just... the arrow <laughs> felicity and friends season five <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's like one of the like whenever anyone is too overpowered, uh, you have to get your yes. drama elsewhere, and then the or, only place left is people. Or you gotta just straight up nerf them, like, like in X Men, yeah, when they were true. like, "Oh, he snapped uh, Quicksilver's leg, so now your speedster who can solve all your problems can no longer solve well, all your problems." Well, they Ooh. can no, because then they just hyper heal. Like most speedsters have hyper healing. Well, no, they have well, to remove the hyper healing too. Well, because I'm saying, no, in the movie, remember, he broke his legs, so it's like, how are you gonna run now, idiot, while they're in the middle of a fight? That's yeah, why. and does and doesn't so, that also th- doesn't he, did, he didn't get shit sit there that? and go? He didn't sit there and go. Eh. But also remember when Barry got hit, he was healing himself speed healing but it was just a little hit that he got it wasn't a broken leg you know? yeah that's true i guess and I, well i mean that that is them nerfing him to an extent because but, in the comics they just no no no. In, in the comics they broke johnny quick's legs the flash from earth the evil flash from earth 3 they broke his legs and he was like ah and he didn't super heal yeah I that's don't true think, i don't they don't have the same kind of healing factor like we're used to with wolverine and deadpool and deadpool took days to regrow a limb so it's okay. Not well, be no, immediate. that depends. No, that depends because Wolverine regrew himself from a drop of blood instantly. Remember, when instantly? Instantly. That that was the whole inciting incident of Civil War. He got napalmed to hell, and from one drop of blood, he just regenerated himself. Regeneration from a drop of blood. Let's see what they say. <clears throat> oh, so it says in. The uncanny X-Men, Horde ripped his heart out, killing him. Unfortunately for Horde, a drop of Wolverine's blood landed on the crystal, allowing Wolverine's body to astonishingly regrow itself from that single drop. So, um, even the all arrangements, single drop of blood. 
So let me see, let me see, let me see. But I, I, it's not instant. Yeah, no, it's not instant. Oh, okay. So the power of the crystal gave Wolverine's healing factor a boost that allowed him to regenerate an entirely new body from the single drop and cosmic power. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> but you know what I mean, right? Where it's like in the comics, if you snap a speedster's legs generally for the battle they're out of the count and which is what, yeah. what i'm saying that's what they do with x-men and that's also what i'm saying that's what they do with these op powers where it's like extremists can solve all your problems well you know what it just won't and then they kind of just go eh, that's it sorry that's all that's all fellas <clears throat> my, my bad fellas that's all that's on me yeah so. gg no re well i mean uh to be fair they do have i mean that's what they do with everyone that's too overpowered uh, that, find, I mean, that, that find is, creative ways. To I feel nerf to him. an extent that that is kind of nerfing him because I don't know. I feel like I've seen in the comics uh, Barry has healed a lot faster than <coughs> a lot more, a lot faster. Even if not to the extent mm. that I was thinking of, I feel like I have seen him heal a lot quicker. Mm. But then yeah. inconsistencies, yeah, inconsistencies. Uh, so yeah. who's gonna lead um, MCU into the Kangaverse? I don't know. People are people are saying there's a couple of contenders and. To an extent, I kind of agree with uh, one of the other videos I saw debating this, which is uh, they were essentially saying that it's going to do what Marvel has always done, where they have one essentially main lead character, quote unquote, mm -hmm. and then have uh, various like maybe two or three other leads to support the, the main lead. So mm -hmm. like for the original Marvel, we started with Iron Man. He was like the main, mm -hmm. but essentially equivalent to him. We had Captain America and uh, Thor and Thor, the big three, the big three. So they're probably going to do something similar. And I don't know if I agree with the ones that that person chose. I think they said uh, Doctor Strange was going to be the lead, the main lead. Mm, uh, Spider-Man like was going to be a sub lead. And then Captain Marvel. Uh, and then maybe Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel would be the, the third oh, one. Miss Marvel. Well, because they can still do the Young Avengers also because they have mm -hmm. Kate Bishop. They have um, yeah, Miss Marvel. They have uh, other youngins. I mean... All the other youngins. They they have Spider Man's still a kid, basically, too. Yeah. Well, he to be fair, well, he is in college. Patriot but... is the young Avengers. I'm sorry, P Patriot is um Patriot US Agent? Am no, Patriot. Of? Who's Patriot? US Agent is someone else. Uh, okay, U I was thinking of Dark US Avengers. US Agent is the Dark Avengers. Yes. Uh Patriot is the uh grandson of the original Captain America the second the Captain Black, America. Black in America. Yeah, Black America. <laughs> Black America. Uh Black, Black Captain America. Black Captain America. Uh or the original Black Captain America, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah now, Bradley. We have yeah Isaiah Bradley. So we have Patriot, we have Miss Marvel, we have Spider Man, Spider -Man actually leading that team because he's like, oh, I was an Avenger, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, I'm a Avenger. You remember me? Yeah, but he's yeah. twenty. Wait, no, no, he's nineteen still in the MCU. Oh, because yeah. he's going into the he's barely going to he's college. finishing his GED. He was yeah. like sixteen he was when he 16. started. Yeah. Fuck. So he's... Well, no, 16 plus five years. But he was blipped. He was blipped. He, was he didn't blipped. count. He didn't he count. He didn't count. Oh. I was like, wait, how did they keep him down six years? But he was fucking blipped. He was fucking so blipped. He was yeah, 16 he was and then he was 18 because he was a senior and then he got blipped. So he was back finishing up his senior year. So he's, so he's barely about 19. to be 19. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Well, well, that sucks for him. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, didn't get to age well. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh well, GG, no re. No, so, but yeah. So we have Miss Marvel, we have Patriot, we have uh, who the fuck do we have? Oh, we have the new Falcon. The there's a new Falcon. There's a new. Baby well, it's Falcon. not official yet, but like that person, I think plays the Falcon in the comics. Who? So uh, he was the the Hispanic dude that was helping uh oh uh, I yeah remember. Falcon and uh, or Captain America and uh, what's his face uh, Bucky Barnes. I remember. Yeah, so we have that. Him. Who else do we have? Oh, we technically have Wiccan and... Uh... They're not real. Not yet. They're not real. No. You're schizophrenic. No, I, I You're deny this. I deny this. I deny this. Because now, like, nothing is impossible anymore. Like, at least from alternate oh, dimensions. America Chavez because now. Because America Duh. Chavez exists. That's one of the other young Avengers. There she you can go. just go to a reality where they are real and they have superpowers. That's, that's enough. And then, boom, GG. You no re. Patriot. Okay, so Spider-Man leading, right? Spider-Man. Patriot. Patriot Captain, Captain America. No, no, sorry. Or, uh, Spider-Man, Patriot, Miss Marvel, uh, Falcon... Uh, and 
America Chavez. America Chavez. Uh, Wiccan and the uh, other motherfucker. Speedster. Probably, else. maybe. I don't know. Depends. Oh, and uh, Ant Man's daughter. And Kate Bishop. Kate. Oh yeah, and nine. Kate Bishop. So there's Kate nine. Bishop. So yeah, there's nine. Actually, let's say reducing the two people that don't exist in the universe, there's seven. Yeah, so that's still enough. seven. It's still seven. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That's more than enough. Well, okay, if we're doing that, we can't count the Falcon because he hasn't gotten his wings yet. Then the six that that's, six. that's, that's enough. That's, that's still enough. enough. That's Straight still up, enough, yeah. you got your Captain America copy, you got your Iron Man copy, and oh, Iron Reed Heart, Williams, really, yeah, Iron Heart, Iron Heart, seven. We're back I up to seven. I forgot because Loki she forgot was about one Iron of the Heart. weakest parts of the Black Panther movie. But Low key, continue. she was kind of the weakest part. It, I, I don't like those MacGuffins where it's like, ah, yes, why is she so smart? She just is. Deal with it, and it's like, all right, you know, yeah. like I, I understand some of the ones where it's like Iron Man. It's like, yeah, he was a. He, he was one of those kids that was like super smart because his parents never talked to him and they always expected so much. So he's like studying his ass off and like tinkering with things all the time because his dad doesn't love him. And it's like, I mean, isn't that just Riri's backstory, too? I have no idea. <laughs> like right now? I don't know. Um, oh, to be I, I don't think we've got too much. We just got like, oh, yeah, one of the smart ones that uh, doesn't like she like she doesn't. Nec- uh, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I don't remember much of her backstory. In She's the, a in fifteen the year old engineering student following her father's death. She lives with her mother and her paternal aunt Sharon in Chicago. That's from the MCU? In the comics. In the comics, yeah. yeah. So I That's mean we comics. don't I don't think we learn anything about it. Yeah, I guess but, we don't. No. So let me So see. I will hold off my uh criticism of that trope until later. So I don't I don't like it much even oh, okay. when it's like uh Peter Parker. Found it. A certified super genius, she attends MIT on a scholarship. Working alone, she designs a suit of armor similar to the Iron Man armor using materials stolen from campus. She prevents two Emni. Uh, she continues working her suit. Um, and then Tony Stark hears of the accomplishment and he will endorse her decision to become a, su- a superhero. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just, yeah. she's a 15 year old genius that somehow reverse engineered Iron Man's. Yeah, I, I, I don't care much for that, too, even when it's Peter Parker. The only one that I kind of ended up liking uh, the way they did it was with Miles Morales because he's technically a super genius, too. But was he's he? not. Yeah, he's technically one, but he's not like he's like a super genius compared to normal people, not compared to mm. like the <laughs> the super genius, the super like, yeah, like, like the actual superpower. Like geniuses. when Iron Man's like, you all have my intelligence. And then Reed is like, I think I just got a little dumber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, again, it, I know it's just a plot device, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Doesn't mean I can't say I don't like the plot device. I still, you know, yeah, I understand it's, a, but again, the weak, one of the weaker parts of the movie, cause it's like she designed some dog shit suits for them and then they make the dog shit suits and they could have just, those suits could have stayed in the comics, but they had to bring them out and go, we got comic accurate. Um, Ibambe suits or whatever. <laughs> comic, the, comic accurate suits Angel are only good if they're like good. Yeah. To be honest, like I like some of the modern ones, right? Where it's like you know X Men, where he's like he, instead of having everything, it's just his hairs. Uh, you know, his hairs up like in the comics, but he doesn't need that huge cowl. But then they presented to us the cowl, and it's like, come on! But there are some suits that do work, like Deadpool. It's a fucking classic. And I you don't can know. Easily it de- translate it that. depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends on. A, I. It's a suit by suit basis. Tbh. Yeah, it's a, a suit I by guess. suit basis. Okay, because Iron Man, you can't really fuck up Iron Man. To be fair. Ah, I feel you can. I didn't like a lot of like the the in- interim suits between two and and Infinity War. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Like the Iron Wait. Man three suit with all the gold on it, I hated that one. Well, yeah, absolutely I, I, I despised was gonna it. Say that there, there were a number of suits that he had on there where it's like, why Why would you even design this? Yes. And it's like... Yes. Not only the suits at the end, just, just, like the end ones. No, no, no. The, like, even the like the base ones. one, like the gold one. Oh my God, was you that one like atrocious? It? it was atrocious. I barely remember it. Let me see. Three. Actively. Like, what why? if you're so smart, why you got to design a suit that's like fucking oh. gold and red? It's atrocious. I see. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's so ass. Throw, throw a picture up here. It's ass. Look, how you gonna how you gonna have like a ten billion percent IQ or whatever the fuck, and then come up with this shit? Like, come on. Yeah, because I know I I get the idea of like we're going back to like how he originally looked or whatever, but with a modern twist. But this one didn't work. No, the one that did work was the End Game one because that one. Yes, was actual... I remember that one. Yes, End Game suit. 
Endgame Iron Man suit. See, that was, ooh, that one was fucking sexy because he didn't yeah, overdo it on the good. gold. That, you got the arms and the legs, but the chest is red. Yes, and not only that, but this one also calls back to the to the 80s one, I think. The one where exactly. it's like circles. Yeah. Where it's just like he has like these giant weird circles. It's like it's like doing old but new. Exactly. Old but new. And it's not too much gold because remember, the yes. gold's only on his thighs, his and helmet, on his, his arms. Forearms. That's it. Yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's so good. It's so good. And if we look at his original suit, okay, I mean, not not his original, original suit, but... Yeah, not the yellow one. I was going to say, yeah. His Mark I where this one. he's all fat. Exactly. Yes, this one, exactly. Perfect. See? Old, but new. And that's good. That's great. It's great if you can adapt something and make it look nice and good. But the yeah. Iron Man 3 suit was so bad. I, I remember it specifically because I thought I remember I hated it so much. <laughs> Just so right. ass. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess it does count on a suit by suit basis. But, yeah. But Deadpool's going to be in the MCU now too. Yep. So. Yep. My fa- and uh, to be fair, because like the other thing I was going to say was the 90s. I don't want. I don't really want any 90s suits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the 90s suits when they were on crack. We, we don't speak of the 90s suits. <laughs> we, yeah. we never... And, and, and the mullets. And, and Superman the with a mullet. Yes. Got we don't speak of those. Everyone with a mullet. Yeah. Everyone bad. The only the only two that we do is Superboy with the leather jackets and the S symbol. That one's... Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. And then uh, the Deadpool suit that's like black and gray. So the red... They basically swap out the red for mm. the gray. That one's cool too. Those are the only two suits from the 90s I'll accept. That's it. But GG. yeah, who okay? Who else had? I mean, because there were some, well, okay, good costumes. I'm gonna say because like Namor didn't have a suit, but his costume was like very his character design. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. oh, in the in the MCU, in the yeah, yes, for yes. on screen, very yes. well translated very over. Very good. They very didn't good. overdo anything with like the the shoes or anything. They didn't give him a big ass forehead unnecessarily. No, because you yeah. know in the comics, yeah, we get it. It's that, but this one made a lot more sense. Aztec, etc. How'd you like the character design for uh, Modok though? Ah. One of my favorite design. <laughs> I know it was pretty I, bad. Yeah, it's my favorite. I actually liked it. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I, I'm so I liked it, but you think it's ha- a bad design? They had some concept art, and we were robbed. We were robbed. Oh, seen... so it's not a. It was bad. It's this could. This is great, but it could have been better. Yeah, they had it where he was like uglier, but like you know how he should have been, right? Yes. Let me see. Where is the other one? Fuck, they had leaked. Show it to me. Show it to me. It, it was basically along the lines of this. Oh, that looks they, cool. I know. That looks cool. That looks cool and goofy. Yeah, straight up. Because, yeah, and, instead of just being a huge face, like. But I feel like that up. would cause a lot more, would need a lot more CG. It would cost Yeah, more it would have been closer to this. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll throw that one up there. But that one, he's like, it yeah, would have been really closer bad. to it, but it would have been better. And I can't describe it why, but I hate the Marvel video game one. Mm-hmm. That that one that you showed right now was the Marvel video game one, and it looks like I hate it. I hate mm-hmm. it so much. But the concept art that you showed uh, over here for what we were robbed of looks good, and I don't know what's the difference. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I can't describe it. I can't explain it. I just know, like, I just feel like this one irritates me yeah. when I see it. Like, but the thing is too, and this one doesn't. I don't know why it had to be Darren. It it didn't have to be Darren. It didn't. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah, literally someone else that got smushed up in the universe or whatever, or someone that was just disfigured, irrelevant, right? Or or it could have. It couldn't have. It could. It didn't have to be any of that. Like it could have just. I think in the comics, Modok is just genetically engineered, or at least in one of the animes, he was one of the one of the cartoons. He was just completely born specifically by AIM yeah. to be their leader. But because he's bald, it kind of fucks up that whole identity of like, oh, you know, his little baldness or yeah. his little hair. Like, because he, he always has the hair. It's, it's again, it's doing Deadpool without a mouth. Yes. Why the fuck would you have, oh, yes, he is the Deadpool now. And with the little burn marks there and then the fucking katanas in his, in his arms. Wrists. Fuck. What oh, the fuck so is dumb. this? No, we don't speak of- how and he could gonna, teleport. How you going to make... Oh, he does teleport. But I'm saying it was a built-in ability rather than his I don't belt. care about that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't care about that. Okay, okay, okay. What I cared about was, like, the thing the is, design. like, at the end of the day, whether the teleportation ability is innate or by a belt doesn't change the character, right? Like, Deadpool's they, been yeah, with or without... The yeah, the they fundamental of the, the character. They fucked up the character. How are you going to make the Merc with a mouth without, without a mouth? Like... And all for the joke it's his of, tagline. like... tagline. Um... 
you, looks like you don't have your mouth anymore. And he's like, and that's it. That's all we get. A fucking look. And it's like, that's what you give me. So, but, trash. Oh well. Trash. Did I tell you the copyright for Winnie the Pooh and Minnie and Mickey Mouse? No way. Are they gone? I think I, so. I know. Okay, Winnie the Pooh is. Let me see. Let me see. Winnie the Pooh definitely is. Copyright. I know. I know ex- one of the Mickey Mouse. Expiration 2023. So on January 1st, copyright works from 1927 will enter the public domain. So anything before 1927, including The Lighthouse, The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes. Yo, you're done. No, I, I think that one doesn't count. Mickey, Mi- the uh, Disney's original Mickey Mouse copyright expired in. Yep. So, oh, uh, w- Willie on the steamboat, basically. Yes, Willie on the steamboat. Willie, you are now a ele- Willie on the steamboat is now officially our mascot. Yes, we. It's now the 100%. official mascot of Broke Till Friday, Friday. Straight since up, it has exited it is, the domain. It is no longer Dinny property. It is now our property, not Dinny. Not our property, Dinny. Watch <laughs> out, we'll see you, Dinny. <laughs> Straight up, we've been using this as our intellectual property for two Five. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> For two minutes, and you know what? We like it, okay? <laughs> so you're not going to use it any it longer. It fits our aesthetic so we're, much. We're sending cease and desist to Disney's lawyers right now. Like, if they don't have enough uh, problems Ain't that right, Jeffrey? Florida. I just bring out a mouse. It's like a little mouse drafting a fucking... <laughs> Straight, we have mouse desist. lawyers, okay? And not it's like, lawyers it's that are... bird law, but better. <laughs> exactly. It's not lawyers that are good with mice. It's mice that are literal lawyers. Literal mice, literal lawyers. Mouse lawyers. Come in soon to a theater near you. Speaking of lawyers. Yes. You know, I unlocked a new fear uh, two days ago. What? Timeshares. Oh, I thought um, Better Call Saul breaking out of your... In the, in the back rooms. I mean, that's basically... You know? <laughs> honestly, honestly, that's basically Your timeshares. <laughs> timeshares, they get you to meet in the back rooms the promise of a timeshare and they're like come into this dimly lit room with a bunch of other people and then they close the door behind you and then you turn around and the door's gone oh fuck it. <laughs> Ooh, dead dead that's a, that's a honestly that's a better result than actually getting a timeshare <laughs> loki no okay so death is a preferable alternative to timeshare uh ownership <laughs> loki, fucking look okay I, okay i don't know do you watch john oliver <laughs> it's the hbo guy no Okay. No, I, I know I know who he is. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I do not watch him though. Occasionally, I see clips on YouTube, but he he did another timeshare expose. He did he did a timeshare episode <sighs> uh, this Sunday, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna lie, it scared me absolutely shitless. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with life, and I I don't know why this scared me more than everything else. Uh, more than climate change, more than Republicans winning, more than fascism Death. more than more the than possible trans genocide that's going on uh, more than more jk than rowling oh. 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 <laughs> no uh and because then... and for one specific reason basically you can inherit a timeshare without you ever signing anything essentially that's horrifying wait how so basically uh timeshares exist in this weird legal space like the way they're set up <laughs> It's essentially if, let's say someone dies, someone mm. close to you, and you're supposed to inherit their timeshare, uh, and you're set to inherit their timeshare, you have nine months to go to this office and file this paperwork to saying, no, you don't want it, mm. or else you keep it and it's yours, and now you're locked in that contract. Mm-hmm. Now you own that timeshare, but and you I have thought, to pay the maintenance fees on I it. I thought that you could not be tied into anyone else's debt. It's it's technically not a debt. You're inheriting property, quote unquote. It's not. That's not fucking property. You can visit every <laughs> third Sunday, every other month that ends in G, and make sure that no months end in G, Edward. Yes, I, I know. I don't know if you picked up on that, but that was written <laughs> in the contract that they signed. And they're like, we're going to go to the Bahamas. It's like, when can I go? Not yet. Never. When can I go? Not yet. When Never. When can I go? Not yet. Yeah. So, like... Y- and not only that, but they can increase the maintenance costs of that timeshare. Like, I don't know if they fix the fridge or whatever, supposedly. Uh- also, I <laughs> didn't process a thing you said right now because I was running through the months just in case there was one that ended in G. <laughs> no, there is no one that ended I know. in G. I was like, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. When I got to August, I was like, <gasps> but I was like, no. no. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking, like, I think you're thinking of August. You're thinking of August. <laughs> August doesn't end August. in G. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're good. We're good. We okay. haven't committed. We haven't committed a lie. Okay. We so, haven't committed a minute. Sorry. Repeat your Daisy. statement. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, I forgot what I was saying right before, right before that. To be honest, inheriting timeshares because they're technically property. Yes, they're technically property. Yes. So you inherit. That's the way you inherit the contract. Mm -hmm. It's technically property. And if you don't file your like your intent, grievances or whatever, your, your intent to uh, not inherit or whatever bullshit mm -hmm. it is. Uh, you, you get that property and that's yours now. And now if they increase the maintenance the maintenance fees for it, you're on the hook. Fuck. So you could inherit a timeshare without ever knowing and be on the hook for all the maintenance fees. That's crazy. Did and there's know? no way out. There's no way out of a timeshare contract once you're in it. So without your knowledge, you could get locked into a contract that you can't escape. You know, Is it indefinite or like let's say if if, if they wrote it for like five years – and then you're on the hook for the rest of the other four years, basically. Basically, if they wrote it for, it's basically till the end of the contract. But ninety percent of like he was going over this, where essentially most timeshare contracts, like the average timeshare contract, is in perpetuity. So well, it's duh, because it's for like sixty year old guys that yes. are like, you can go and retire and like chill over here and chill over there. So they're not expecting you to live another fucking forty years. Yes. But then it's like, oh, here you go, you inherited Mister Twenty Year Old Cousin uh, twice removed, and yes. you're like. No. And it's terrifying because uh, some people actually like think that they're good investments, right? That they're good like <laughs> things to have. So they bought them and Edward. they're like, yeah, I'm what? so excited that I could send this to my, to my that I can give I this can to my I can pass child. down my investment. Yeah. <laughs> I can pass down my unavoidable debts. Dude, it's so, legit so terrifying. Why are timeshares no good? I've heard that you can pay <laughs> for pennies on the dollar to vacation in places such as Hawaii, the Bahamas, subject to, to availability. All within a 30-minute drive. Exactly. <laughs> it's the Bahamas, Las Vegas. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the Bahamas uh, in Casino and Resort in Compton or whatever. Yeah. Like some dumb shit. No, but, uh, but like, okay, but yeah. So tell the viewers why timeshares are bad. So timeshares are bad. First, because uh, they're ass. Second, I will shit on them every chance I get. Third, you will never escape those contracts. Fourth, you don't have availability. So he was going over this story about how uh, this one girl tried to call in uh, and was like, hey, can I get a time? Can I, you know, can I, can I use my time? Can I use my time? Can I use my time? Sure. And they were like, no, you, you, it was like a month in advance or something. They're like, no, 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 it's too soon. It's, it, we are so backed up with people wanting to use that, that you're not, uh, it's, you're, you need to give us more time. The next time she tried using it, it was three months in advance. And I was like, no, 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 you're calling too early. It's too early to, to reserve the, the timeshare. You're never going to get a chance to use it. You're never going to get a chance to use it. And because they're the timeshare management companies doing that shit, I'm like 900% sure willing to bet an entire paycheck mm -hmm. that they're just lying. Yeah, they're just lying. Because I they doubt the timeshare exists. They don't have to pay maintenance costs. They don't have to pay electricity when no one's using it. They can leave it vacant. They could probably fucking put it up on an Airbnb yeah, and legit, then double dip. Legit. You're renting it out on Airbnb and you're renting it out because people have As already paid share. for that guaranteed space. Mm -hmm. Evil. Evil. Absolute, absolutely Diabolical. disgusting and evil. Uh, and not to mention, what's it called? Uh, so a lot of the, like, they're really high pressure sales. Like he, he put, he put a picture, he put like a, a small clip of like an average timeshare meeting. And the dude is don't let anyone leave here without buying something. You have to get out on the floor, sell, sell, yep. sell. You have to sell at scam. least two of them. You yes. have to get at least two people into it. It's just, it, it's horrible. They, like there's a story about this one dude. Who was who? He this dude basically has diabetes, right? And uh, they basically kept him trapped in a room with no food for five hours. They they just kept pitching him and pitching him for five hours straight. He's no like, breaks. My blood nothing. sugar's low. I need yeah, some yeah, insulin. Yeah. And they were like, that's, no. That's literally what he said. He's like, my blood sugar. It's like I I had no choice but to sign because I needed to leave to go get my my no, insulin. No, they can't keep you hostage. Yeah, I know, but like but, when you're in the moment and you're like about yeah, to collapse from like yeah. insulin deficiency, like you, you're not thinking straight. It's like having sure, a stab like, wound in you. I will sue you or whatever. Yeah, like if you're if someone comes up and stabs you and then it's like, hey, would you like to sign this and I can take you to a hospital? It's like, well, uh, I get you got me. <laughs> you hear that? Timeshare people go around and stab them until they agree to. Um, Oh, and the and the contracts themselves Fine. for the timeshares are so rock solid and so perfect uh, and so like forever basically that there's a whole other industry called timeshare exit companies 
who are also scams. So if you go to a timeshare exit con uh, exit company, one, a company that's supposed to help you leave your timeshare contract, you're getting scammed again, essentially. They're probably, it's like, ah, uh, yes, my name is um, John Smith, and I'm here with a timeshare company. Puts on a pair of glasses with a <laughs> fake nose. It's me, Mark Smith, and I'm here with the anti-timeshare uh, companies. I'll be able to help you out, sir. I wouldn't fucking doubt it because <laughs> no one no one can get you out of a timeshare contract, essentially. The only way, really, is Death. to sell it to someone else. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no, yeah, because no. yeah, it gets passed on to your... Yes, because your then it gets passed on to whoever's next in line. And You're if, like, ah, loser, I don't have to deal with this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and if it gets passed down to the next person and they, you know, they file the paperwork to reject it and whatever, mm -hmm. it gets passed on to the next person. So like if you have Bruh. two if you have two brothers let's say you have two brothers your parents have a timeshare one of you inherit it you file the paperwork to reject it goes it to, goes to your brother and if your brother does the same thing it goes to the next person available and then the next one and then the next one and then the next one until it lands on someone that doesn't know about the paperwork doesn't know what it is or thinks timeshare is a good investment and then that person is fucked holy moly so what I'm hearing is we need to get an executive order in which we drone strike. All of the timeshare company headquarters. Simultaneously. You can't give it a chance to, re same time. to regrow. <laughs> exactly. And again, we're doing this at nighttime when they're not there. We're not trying to kill anyone. No, we're just trying we just to destroy the destroy. infrastructure yes. and, the, and the paperwork, you know? Dude, a lot of the timeshare exit companies specifically don't even actually exist. Like, uh, so there was one really popular one that went on the news. It was like, it was like, yes, if you want to leave your timeshare, go to these people. They have a hundred percent success rate. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> they have a hundred percent failure rate, more like it. Uh, but one of that per that people's clients, when they went to the offices of the timeshare exit company, the entire like building, it was like a two or three story building, the entire building empty. It was just empty Jeez. office space. They were never there. They never set up shop there. Just completely gone. You should be extremely wary of anyone who approaches you about exiting a timeshare or claims that they have a buyer for you, especially if they ask for an upfront fee. Another red flag is an invitation to an in-person group presentation or seminar on timeshare exits that offers a free meal. Yeah, no. Here, no. here are four signs <laughs> that tell you the timeshare exit company you're working for isn't legitimate. You're receiving unsolicited calls. They're giving questionable legal advice. You're paying excessive upfront fees. You're withheld from the exit process. So they're probably like, you just keep paying us. We'll, we'll do the litigation in the back end. Yeah. In the back end. Oh, uh, well, we're here with the exit group. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to exit. Uh, we're going to get him. And then he reaches out. He, he puts he peeks his head out the closet. <laughs> it's just a cl broom closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really getting them now. <laughs> and then you're like, nice. <laughs> it's like, thanks. <laughs> you hear like the... No, stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, and then he's going to fuck up once and yeah, he's going to yeah. be like, oh, I'm here with the timeshare exit. Oh, well, I don't want to sell you my timeshare. Wait, I thought the other guy was the one. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm with the timeshare exit. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they, it's it's just uh, it's just two people. It's uh, Jane and John. And they're just like talking to each other in the back room like, like, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and just, this is ridiculous. Can't believe this is happening. Yeah. So what do you want for lunch? Wait, so I, got, I got this. Uh, we we just made it like thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> like yeah. And the lady that went to go do that, like when she found all the empty office spaces, she had already paid fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. This is why I'm glad I don't have money because I don't get scammed. Are you I, I don't have the money to get me? scammed. Oh, Woo! dude. And like, I I don't know. I guess the part of the reason why I'm so afraid of it is because a. Without your knowledge or consent, you could inherit a timeshare and be on the hook for thousands of dollars over time. Hundreds of Nuts. thousands of dollars over time if, like, they increase the fees enough. Ooh. Uh, Did you know there's this life hack? It's called declaring bankruptcy. You can do it every seven years. You own years. the property. <laughs> how are you... How is the, the, bank, the bankruptcy going to take it out? That's the secret. That's the secret <laughs> of capitalism. You, did you know you can just get a bunch of credit card debt, ruin your credit, and then it'll reset itself in seven years? So True. if you're young, be 18. If I, if I was an 18-year-old and I had spent a bunch of money and defaulted on it when I was 18, I would have had a bunch of cool stuff. But then my credit would have reset right now because I'm already 25. Woo! Let's do it again for 32. <laughs> no, no, no. What you actually do, though, is uh, you do a bunch and then you wait till it gets old and then they sell it. Because uh, after, I think, uh, two years of you not paying – or no – 
after a certain amount of time of, of like when you're not when a it good goes payer, to collections when it goes to collections it'll go to someone uh, they'll sell it and then you and can it, pay it off it for pennies again. on the dollar yes exactly exactly then you can ask uh pay to clear you my, don't just pay it you pay my to clear. twenty thousand dollar balance went down to one thousand dollars exactly. and i was able to work it off and on it gets McDonald's taken off your minimum credit. wage what? it gets taken <laughs> off your credit and you're good to go you know who to thunk so remember yeah. guys Pay it's, to clear. Pay to clear. If it's not fraud, if it's capitalism, remember. exactly. So, it's not fraud if it's capitalism. That's broke till Friday. Don't buy timeshares. <laughs> <laughs> We're broke till Friday. Goodbye, my friends. We'll see you next week. Now I'm a go and beat my meat. And we're broke till Friday. Goodbye, my friends. We'll see you next week. And now I'm a go and beat my meat. And we're broke till Friday.